Okay, I've stopped here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck these uh, tops of these blackberries off. Just the very, very, very end new shoot of the blackberry tops. Just the very, very end new shoots. Yeah, like that one there, yeah. Just those very end shoots. Huh. I'm going to bag them here. Uh, and we're going to collect a whole bunch of these. And I'll take them home, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them when I get home. They're just all the very, the youngest, youngest tops there that are coming up. Just those very young, the very end top piece that just shooting out. There's like thousands of them here right now. They're everywhere. It's just uh, starting the new flush of blackberry bush is what it is. So we're just going to pluck these all off. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> And I'll show you what we do with them now. Mm. I also got to keep my eye on those dogs. So that's what we're going to do. I'll grab a whole bunch of these and we'll go home and I'll show you what I do with them. Ciao for now. Well, we just came back from a little walkies walkabout. <laughs> Look at those little legs. She got all wet. Look at those skinny little legs. Look at the skinny little legs. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that's cute. All right. Everyone in. Ciao for now. Okay, do you little brats want to get out and go for another walkies before we go home? Do you? Do you want to get out for another walkies? Yeah, at your walkie spot? Oh, you won't play a toy. <laughs> okay, we're going to get out. Ciao. Come on, baby. Come on. You're going to take your toy, are you? You're going to take your toy, are you? Why? I don't know. Nope, you dropped it. <laughs> Good. And here's the munchkin. Here's the munchkin. There you go. Your toy's on the floor there, on the ground. Your toy's right there on the ground. All right, let's have a walkies. <clears throat> it's gonna go in the truck, look. In the truck, okay, go walkies. Go walkies. Come on, let's go walkies. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Hmm. Ciao for now. Whoa, and see that step. <laughs> okay, they're going that way. I'm going to look at my garden. <laughs> well, that's my community garden plot. <laughs> Looks like it's overrun with weeds, but I've still got the carrots in there, and they're actually up fairly tall now. See how they turned out. They might have to just go to seed, but my Brussels sprouts are all uh, flowering, so they'll be seeding up. Going to seed pretty soon here. So that'll be good. I want to collect all those seeds for somewhere down the road because I love Brussels sprouts. But I gotta get in and weed this garden and check out those carrots and that. I'm gonna turn this over, probably throw in some specialty potatoes that I have left over. Try and get a crop out of that before I leave the island if I can. Or not, we'll see. Uh, still thinking hard on all that. Anyway, that's the garden plot and I'm gonna have to give it up when I leave the garden. I leave the island. It's going to be kind of sad because I've grown a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> anyway, we got to play with the kids here. And, uh... <laughs> and uh, then give me a final walk today. And then we're going to head off back home to the, uh, to the camper and the campsite. So we'll finish up the walkies here and... Uh, Take you back to the campsite, ciao for now.
Okay, we just finished up our walkie here. We're back in the truck. Look at the little skinny little legs. <laughs> Look at skinny little legs. It's so wet out here. Yeah. Okay, we're going home. Ciao. Well, I was just on my way home and I saw these uh, mushrooms at the side of the highway. <laughs> at the side of the road, I should say. Um, in the back country, anyway. I had to go take another closer look at these suckers. <laughs> so. Okay, I know exactly what these are. <clears throat> these are Amanita muscaria. You know those bright red ones with the warts on top? That's what these are. These are the Amanita muscaria. And... They're neither poisonous or hallucinogenic. I've eaten tons and tons of this stuff. I've never gotten high, I've never died. I'm not saying you should go out and do that, but uh, these are neither poisonous nor hallucinogenic. You can actually, uh, I've never done it yet. I've seen it done on videos uh, on YouTube. It's out there. And people have uh, fried these up, sauteed them up and eaten them. Russians especially <laughs> so I've seen it done uh, anyway nothing I'm interested in right now uh, I'm looking for more delectable stuff but I just had to check them out because I love my mushrooms <laughs> okay ciao for now Honey, I'm home. Oh. <laughs> oh, my honey's right here. My honey's right here and my sweetie. My honey and sweetie are here. Oh, okay. Let's get out then. <laughs> get out and go home. Ciao. Okay, we are home again. <laughs> we uh, put a whole bunch of uh, propane into the uh, pickup truck here. A whole bunch of propane into there. And then we got... Uh, Jer this jerry can full of gasoline for the uh, generator here. So we're going to fire that up in a minute. Uh, but we're home. And when we were out there, our second walkies today, it stopped raining. It was not too bad out. And now it's just raining again. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I keep wanting to do a campfire and videotape it and everything and show you. And show you all the lights on the camper and everything like that. But it just keeps raining and raining. And I don't feel like having a campfire and standing in the rain watching it. So... I'm not going to do a campfire until it stops raining around this dump. There we go. So we are now home again and I'm going to go inside, feed the puppies, start up this generator, uh, charge my phone. I'm, my phone's down to 30% now. I was uptown all day doing Wi-Fi at, uh, um, at the town hall there and uh, checking all the, uh, checking everything online and uh, just doing a ton of stuff there. And doing the filming and everything and some editing and now i've got 30 percent phone so i gotta go charge it up and get things happening so we'll talk to you soon okay ciao for now
okay now we're running smoothly we're good to go plug her in and we'll be done yeah we have power inside now wow Okay, here we go. I've got the generator running out there and I think you can hear it. And I'm doing that so that the light can be on so I can show you what we're doing here. So, welcome back to Kent's Kitchen and another episode of Kent, Cooking with Kent. It is a very, very brief episode. I'm going to do this very quickly. Just turn this on. So what I've done is I brought all those blackberry little shoots, just the very, very tip of the uh, runner shoots. Uh, suckers that run out and start spreading out you just take the very 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 end succulent shoots no extra leaves or stems or anything just all that now what we're going to do okay we're going to throw them all in the pan like there that a piece there get that a little warmer make sure it's warmed up a bit I'm going to heat it up real quick here. Make sure it doesn't burn. Here. So what we're going to do, put about two and a half tablespoons of water in there. This is going to give them a really good quick steam. I want to steam them so it breaks it all down, breaks down those little shoots. Make them softer and more tender. So we're going to steam them for a little bit here. That'll work. <laughs> so, so well, the water went really fast. Huh? Went really fast. So what we're going to do? I'm going to turn that down a little for one. So a little more water in there. Steam them up and cook them like in water, like you steam any of your vegetables in water. You want to break them down, soften them up as much as possible. Right? Now, a little bit more, I want to really soften these up really good. Probably about four tablespoons of water. Let them heat up a bit there. I've got everything up in my cupboards now. So they should be for traveling. <laughs> some of that. Oh, I'm going to put a hint of this on there. And a little bit of that, I guess. That's about it. That's all we need. Okay, here we go. It's going to be all steamed up real good now. Okay. completely off and steam everything up really uh, evenly so everything's really softened up Ex extra soft it's actually taking a little longer than I thought it would but that's okay sometimes the slower the better most of the time slower the better Most of that water is actually evaporated off, it's just a very little layer. So I'm going to start by uh, throwing in a good uh, one and a half tablespoons of butter. Actually quite a bit of butter. And that's good because the butter, the oil in the butter and everything will uh, help uh, cook it down and break them down a lot and make a nice, uh, nice pleasant sauce. 
for the uh, shoots. But I just realized <laughs> I left my bowl outside. <laughs> I don't have a bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. Turn it down just a bit. Obviously some good organic pink sea salt. There we go. And my other favorite food group is pepper. Let's roll a little in for now. I'll let it cook in there. A little bit of garam masala. Garam masala. Just uh, four tops of that. And just a very, very small hint of this uh, um, <coughs> roasted sesame oil. Man, I had a brain bubble there for a second. Just five drops of that, and that was about it. So, we'll let that cook down a little bit. Evaporate all the water out of it. So it's just a nice uh, buttery sauce with uh, vegetable. And so, a little more pepper. Now the only only other thing I would have done was I would have got uh, garlic and put some garlic in there. Um, but I just want to do this and see the flavor of the vegetable itself without overpowering everything too much. So there we go. going to let the excess water steam off and the butter come into a nice sauce kind of thing and have uh, all the flavors and, and of the spices and that come through. So we're just going to do that. Let it sit for a bit until that's done and then we'll come back and eat it. Okay well thank you for showing up at Kent's Kitchen and another episode of Cooking with Kent. Ciao for now. All right, there we go. Generator's still running because I want the light on and everything. But here we go. I found a plate, <laughs> clean one. And uh, there's my uh, sautéed blackberry tips. Not bad at all. These are flavor of them and they're good. It doesn't taste succulent like asparagus or avocado or Brussels sprouts or any of those succulent vegetable vegetables that you may like it tastes like kind of like weeds and vegetable matter and stuff like that it's, it doesn't taste bad at all it tastes good and the thing is is you know you don't have to eat this stuff all the time all this foraging I do but the thing is in a survival situation there you go this is really healthy and it'll keep you alive for a long period of time. And I could have got um, some stinging nettle out there. I could have got some more uh, salmon berry flowers, um, wild rose flowers. I don't know if they're available yet. A plantain, dandelion. I could have got all that and thrown it in here for color and everything in the extra nutrition. But I was just showing you what you can do with the blackberry shoots right now. And they're actually good. I'm actually enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Basically, with this and a lot of other things, you have to cook them down and render them down so they're nice and soft and chewy and edible. Otherwise, they're just tough and green. <laughs> but no, this is really good. I'm going to really enjoy this. And... Uh, just another part of the foraging and staying alive. But like I say, you don't have to do this unless it's a survival situation. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating this and get on with something else today. So welcome to another episode of Kent's Kitchen and Cooking with Kent. <laughs> bon appétit.
poor little munchkin. She's had a really busy day. Really busy day. <laughs> yeah, look at that, eh? <laughs> yeah, she's so flaked out. Okay, let's get on with things. Ciao for now. Okay then, it's still pouring rain outside, so we're not doing a campfire out there tonight. There we go, lights, we have light. We're not doing a campfire tonight, it's just pouring rain, I don't want to stand outside while the fire's on, it's just not fun to enjoy. <laughs> two, two puppies are all flaked out, so I've had dinner, they've had dinner, and we're all doing good. So yeah, no campfire tonight, so I'm just going to say adieu for now anyway so thank you for hanging out with baby and me and angel and tiny house on wheels <laughs> so I'll talk to you probably tomorrow morning ciao for now Da 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 da